the last thing uh, that it has on the setup option just says control and monitor network traffic by enabling the firewall so uh, and here again this is another uh, system sensitive uh, you know application or process that you're going to be performing so it wants the password and so you can see the idea of you know how frequently uh, this <laughs> password entry uh, will happen with Linux pretty much any time you're changing anything uh, that's you know uh, going to configure system settings or anything like that it will prompt you it says okay we need you know administrator approval to do this and make sure this is something you want to do you know um, so uh, so the firewall it says an uncomplicated way to manage your firewall powered by UFW easy simple nice and useful so uh, this is really actually simple um, it says uh, I personally just follow the basic options here. It says if you are a normal user, you will be safe with this setting. Change status to on, incoming to deny, outgoing to allow. And it says remember to append allow rules for your PGP apps. So if you use any peer to peer stuff, uh, you're going to want to do that. But otherwise, you can just, you know, set it once and that's pretty much it. Uh, and your firewall is good to go. Um, Firewalls work a good bit differently with Linux, from my understanding, than they do on Windows. But, um, and then it says, you know, it goes on to give you further details if you want some more uh, info about it. Um, and it says, uh, you know, it tells you what to do with that. And then it, below that, it has this frequently asked questions section. It says, uh, how do you auto start it with the system? And it says, you don't need to do that because after you set these changes to what it suggests it says the settings are still in place until the next changes are made so uh, so basically this is a set it once and forget about it kind of setting um, and it says why is it disabled by default because it says by default the firewall does not open ports to the outside world so um, so you're perfectly fine to just leave this alone you don't even have to set it if you don't uh, you know have a need for it um, you can just leave it status to off and that's you know it's not gonna open any ports to the outside world as it suggests here so um, but if you do have need for firewalls or if you feel more comfortable you know having it on uh, then you just can follow these really simple steps right here and it will what it needs to do just with that basically all you have to do is toggle this button to on click it and it automatically by default says incoming deny outgoing allow which is what it suggests for normal use so basically just toggle that on and that's it that's all you would have to do if you want it on or off, whatever, however you want to do it, and that's it. And so that's definitely a easy uh, set it and forget it kind of thing. So that gives you a pretty good look here of the initial steps um, from the welcome screen. And if you, you know, especially if you want to change this panel layout, uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm sure there's uh, another way and maybe someone in the comments can let me know like, oh, you just go over here and I just missed it. But um, if you want to change between these two options, modern and traditional style, uh, this is, as far as I know, the way to do it um, is from this welcome screen here. Um, and so you may want to reference the welcome screen again. To do that, you just go to menu up at the top here where it says all applications and that brings you a list down here on the right side. Scroll all the way down with this to pretty much the bottom and you will see welcome screen right here. And that gives you this uh, screen even if you've toggled this off to not show it at the start of your computer uh, boot process. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more, you can find my books at bookstoread.com slash Jonathan. That's books, the number two, read.com slash J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N.